Hey Mike with Aftermarket Assassins here. We're going to install our clutch kit on a Kawasaki Ridge. We have our close off panel removed right here. Uh, this is just a few pop rivets in place. Very easy to remove that. And this it gains you access to your clutch cover. We flip the bed up for a little bit more access as well. I like to use a 10 millimeter to take off the perimeter bolts for the clutch cover, the outer plastic clutch cover here. Uh, 10 millimeter bolt, zip those off. We've taken a few out to speed up the video. Pull these four that we left in here. And sometimes for testing, it's okay to, to run just a few bolts. And then we uh, you know, go ahead and put them all back in after we're, we're satisfied with the results of the clutch kit and where our tuning is. Set the bolts to the side. Pull your clutch cover out. Tons of room to get this out. Makes it really nice. Okay, now... Our primary clutch is a front clutch here. We have these 13 millimeter bolts, six of them. This is holding our cover on. So this is our overdrive clutch cover. What that does is it spaces the cover out a little bit more to allow the clutch to shift further because factory does not shift far enough. So the overdrive clutch cover is something I would highly recommend. We have some overdrive washers as well, which space the cover out, the OEM one. The OEM cover's weak. We actually broke, um, after installing and reinstalling a few times, we broke a ear off of it right here. I recommend this one. It's a lot stronger. It actually adds strength and rigidity to the outside of this clutch. Uh, if you can swing it, this is the way to go. The washers are a cheaper way to do it. They work, but it's not the right way. Uh, we just offered them because we know some people might want that. It's a way to get your foot in the door and get a good, really, really good clutch kit that transforms your machine. Um, so we're going to pull, we have our primary spring in this, it's already got our weights in it, but it's the same process. And I'm sorry, this is actually a 12 millimeter. So we're going to take our 12 millimeter, pull these clutch cover bolts. I like to pull them evenly. We'll leave two that are right across from each other. Set those aside. Like put them in the clutch cover. And then we're going to kind of just walk these ones out as even as possible. The factory spring is a little longer than ours, so you're going to have more tension. Um, our spring engages smoother, so it won't have quite as much tension. Uh, so just be careful when you're pulling that cover off the first time that it doesn't pop off. Um, not a huge deal either way, but just want to strip the ends of those bolts out. So we have a little bit of play in the clutch from where it hits the belt, right? So it'll move over a bit. You wanna make sure you push this clutch all the way towards the belt. That's gonna allow you to gain access to get your weights out. We don't even have to pull the belt to put this clutch kit on. That's a really nice thing. Makes it easy. We do have the belt removal tools. They go in these three holes in the secondary. You can use just one hole threaded in and you only use one of the bolts. You know, the right way is to do it evenly and tighten them all. This will open the secondary. You can grab the belt here and pull it off the secondary around this side and then pull it off the primary, it'll be loose. Very easy to do. So you wanna check you know, everything on here. Uh, if you really wanna get into it, you can pull the belt, you can slide this clutch back and forth. We have had some issues with these clutches sticking. The center bushing, it's hard to see, but it's right down in here. And that's what this whole clutch moves on, on the inside, right down there. And when you slide this all the way over, you can see it a lot better, but we'll spray penetrating oil on it, move it back and forth, especially out this way all the way is where they like to stick and then work this clutch back and forth many many times with the belt off again it gets you a lot better slide action with it that works great so penetrating oil on that we'll blow it out first penetrating oil and then use brake cleaner uh, to clean that out make sure there's no excess on here that can get on your belt that will slip the clutch so that's kind of the rundown there you normally don't have to pull the primary off for anything uh, if we do we'll have another video on that but for this clutch kit it's just not needed so I will say that the factory has a good belt haze on it. Uh, even with stock tires, our clutch kit really cleans that up. You'll see a little bit still, but this is, you know, just a different color gray. There's not really much belt haze there at all. And this one's been, you know, ridden pretty hard. So with 33 inch tires on it, by the way. I will mention, you do want to check your belt for any cracks on the sides, any glazing, where it looks extremely shiny. These have pretty good clutch systems. I wouldn't expect to see that. Um, but let's move on with how to remove the clutch weights. You need a snap ring pliers inverted like this. And there's little snap rings. It's hard to see. 
be very careful. You need a small snap ring pliers, so you'll pull that snap ring off, set that aside. And then what I like to do is use one of our bolts from our outer clutch cover that holds that on, and you can push this pin out just like that. Push that pin out. There's your pin. Check that, make sure there's no corrosion on it. If there is, use Scotch-Brite. Get that back to looking in good shape. And uh, you're set there. Now, I wanna use a magnet like this. You can do it without one, but it's a lot easier. I'm gonna rotate the clutch backwards, not advised to do, you wanna go the other way, but you can just pull this out. And if it doesn't come out, your factory ones are actually easier to get than ours. So you want to make sure this clutch is slid all the way towards the belt. It will gain you enough clearance to pull this weight out. And this already has our kit in it. Your factory arms will look different than this. They don't have the magnets for adjustability. Um, so look at our setup sheet when you're, you're at this step and you're ready to put our weights back in. I usually do one weight at a time. So pull the factory one out, grab one of our weights, and set them up all the same. All three of our arms need to be put the same. Um, but this is the first hole. This is hole number one. So on our sheet, we'll say zero, two, four, four. For instance, this is how these are set up. That's zero in the first hole nearest to the pin. Four is out on the edge. So zero, two, four, four. And our setup sheet goes over what size tires do you have, what tunes are you running. Goes over all that. We have a cruiser setup. The cruiser setup is very nice as it allows for RPM decrease when you're cruising. Um, our standard setups are awesome, and then we have an all-out performance setup, which is just meant for max RPM. So choose whatever you want there. It's very easy to adjust and try different settings if you want to, and see which one's best for you. So now we're going to reinstall the weight that we've set up. I need my pin. And you can lightly push this down and drop the weight into place as you push the pin in. And sometimes this works by hand, sometimes you need your magnet to drop them in properly. Hope you can see this. I've only done this 100 times now, I haven't struggled with it yet, might as well be now. Okay, that's in. These pins only come out one way. They can't come out the other way. Now we get our snap ring. And be very careful with these snap rings not to damage them. And we need to make sure that they go fully seated into the groove. So the snap ring's in there. I like to take the end of the snap ring pliers, just push around that groove. Oh, so you can hear it snap into place. Make sure that snapped into place. Triple check that. That can seriously damage your CVT system if it's not in place. Okay, once your snap ring's in, you can turn it counterclockwise and move on to your next weight. I have these labeled for our testing purposes. You don't really need to do that. Certainly, it's not a bad idea. If you don't buy our overdrive cover, you can put a mark on your factory clutch. Uh, plate out here and here. It's not really a huge deal. Usually these are assembled and balanced separately, but you do want to want to do that. Um, upon reassembly, it's very easy. I'm going to get straight to the point here. You're going to start to thread your bolts back in just like this. Grab the four extra. Or others, I should say. And we're just going to tighten these in a crisscross pattern. Try and bring that cover in as smoothly as possible. And a little too fast on the gun right there, but so I'll go one up, one down, and then I'll kind of go to the other side, and this side. So it brings that cover in evenly. These are under spring pressure, so you want to make sure they're snug. And we'll list the torque spec on our setup sheet, but honestly, snug with a small impact like this is usually about where you need to be. Um, 
And that is really a wrap. Besides putting your clutch cover back on, which is extremely easy. Just gonna grab it and thread it into the wheel well here. Make sure that you have a gasket on the inside of this. Make sure your gasket's in good shape. Put that on. Put your bolts in. Like I said, if you wanna go test, just put a four bolts in randomly. Go test. Uh, and then when you're done, put your access panel back on, the rest of your bolts in first, and you'll be ready to ride and have a lot more power. Uh, also, you know, this kit is amazing for cruising, even with our performance setup. It goes faster, especially with the overdrive cover. It's really needed. These things act more like a you know, Polaris Ranger, where they don't just build all sorts of RPM, like crazy cruising down the road. They actually cruise at a somewhat normal RPM, uh, pretty decently low RPM for, for a four-cylinder motor. So keep that in mind. Um, this kit worked great. If you have any questions, uh, see our website listing, our instructions, uh, or give us a call, email, whatever works.